for purposes of those who may not know, you take Hoima Road about five kilometers after Sunju Town, after Sunju Town, to the left. That's where the building is. There will be a preliminary function at Chikandwa Sub County Headquarters where His Excellency the President will lay a wreath at the mass grave where hundreds of innocent civilians murdered by the UNLA soldiers were buried. The President will be accompanied by a few VIPs. He will inspect the Guard of Honor and there will be a gun salute. Thereafter, the President will proceed to Bukala Muri Catholic Parish Grounds to address the public. The theme for this year is celebrating the lives of our national heroes through dedicated service to our nation. Why do we celebrate Heroes Day? Giving dedicated service to one's country is the clearest manifestation of patriotism. It is an embodiment of love, respect, appreciation of the nation's history and the actors who shaped it. It acknowledges the nation's aspirations, her successes and challenges as well as her hope for the future. The national heroes whose lives we have been celebrating for the 25th time possessed unlimited love for this country, Uganda. Therefore, celebrating their lives should not be a one day of event. Honest and genuine celebration of their lives demands and calls for our recognition of the cause for which heroic deeds and the fruits of their efforts were materialized. It calls for the heroism that exists in you and me, however literal, to follow their footsteps in serving this great nation, Uganda. Our national heroes should be celebrated as best setters. We are champions in the struggle of making Uganda a better country to live in, which was the major spirit behind the heroic deeds of the heroes whose lives we are celebrating. It is the cardinal duty of every Ugandan, therefore, to protect, develop, and sustain this spirit. Giving dedicated service to our nation can be manifested in several ways, one of which is our determination and ability to uphold and defend our nation's common good. The cardinal values exposed by the NRM government, which we think are the common good, are one, peace, security, and stability of Uganda in diversity among Ugandans. As you may know, the respect on constitutionalism and the rule of law. Six, patriotism, national identity, and Pan-Africanism. Seven, fiscal and monetary discipline. What you today mainly call corruption and all forms of abuse of power. You and me should ensure that the positions that we are given, if you are not in position or the position you have, you are able to deter those who want to engage in corruption and all other forms of abuse of power. It could mean absentism from duty.